you know what's more fun than putting T-Post in? Putting eight foot T-Post in. So we are finally able to enclose the garden and we chose eight foot T-Post to give us a seven foot fence. We're going to do the welded wire down at the bottom and deer fencing up at top. Hi Theodore. And you can see we got all of our posts in. It is about 150 feet by 100 feet and we are going to enclose the hoop house because we were unable to open the hoop house because the animals wanted to keep going in there. So we made our own fence puller and we took two boards, drilled holes in it, put the bolts, nuts, and washers on it. And then um, this allows us to sandwich the fence in between and it won't pull and break the welded wire. And you can see how loose it is. So there's a ratchet that will hook up onto the strap so you can put it against the post and it will pull this in nice and tightly and there there it is in, in action. I'm from Arcadia of Healing Homestead in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. How is your garden growing? So the next step is putting on those awful little fence clamp clippy hooker honor things and Jason gets to do this because I am not good at it. <laughs> I cannot figure those. It's like, it's like ratchet straps. And of course a guinea hen found its way in. Even though there's no fence on the end, it thinks it's stuck and can't get with its friends. And but So it's working. The fence is working. And then this is the six foot deer fencing atop and we just use zip ties to hook the pieces together and to attach it to the fence.